and welcome to the art classroom. This is lesson eight and we're going to look at felt pen and tinfoil printing and also a little bit of tinfoil embossing as well. If you tried the cereal box relief task yesterday, you can continue to use that image, but I tried one here of a pangolin. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wrapping it in tinfoil. Now this is just a tinfoil from an old Easter egg that I have. Um, it's nice and fine and thin and what I'm doing is I'm using a cloth to press it against the relief. I'm now going to use just a normal felt tip pen and I'm going to actually colour in the raised areas of the tin foil. Um, if you've got a thicker pen it's probably easier but uh, permanent markers and sharpies will not work with this. You can print without the actual embossing um, just by drawing the pen onto the tin foil. Um, and then you want to get a piece of paper and dampen it. Uh, I'm just using a flannel here. And the wet page will uh, suck the ink off the tin foil. The embossing and the relief I find just gives you a better edge in that pen whenever you're, you're doing it that way. So after doing that felt pen and tin foil print, um, you're left with a really cool tin foil tile that almost looks metal. So if you have some shoe polish or boot polish lying around, uh, you can cover this tile in the boot polish and I would leave it to dry. Then using a mixture of wet and dry kitchen towel, uh, you can actually buffer off some of that boot polish um, to leave that shining motif uh, in the middle. Uh, you need to be careful you don't rub away too much of that uh, shoe polish uh, and hide your image. So by making one piece of uh, cereal box relief art, you can actually generate uh, five or six different pieces of art by using slightly different techniques um, with that relief. If anybody tries any of these techniques out, I'd love to see them. Um, please share with me um, on Twitter, on Instagram, or in the Google Classroom. Uh, but just enjoy it. Happy creating!